there are at least two very different worlds for President Trump, the one in Washington and what you might call rally land, strategically selected sites outside of the D.C. city limits. Home is hardly hospitable. It's where impeachment inquiries loom, protests abound, and it's easy to come across critics. Never have I seen a president treat so disrespectfully a co-equal branch of the government. To demonstrate uh, the kind of god-awful president he is. The cowardice to do something about gun violence. But when the president boards Air Force One, he often flies to friendlier venues, like Thursday night in Texas, and a reported crowd of 20,000. Thank you. So why the two extremes? I know around here it's part of the culture, but, you know, you get out in the everyday working world and how often are people keeping up on the stories, hey, are, are you a fact checker every day? The news coming out of Washington, all about impeachment. When people are walking around in their communities, they're talking about what's going on with the economy around them. And it's a, a part of a larger disconnect between official Washington and the rest of America. So will his support, like in 2016, surprise? I keep up more with the financial markets, and so I've just heard that and read that behind the scenes, he's actually done a lot of good for our country. I think there's a lot of people that like him, but will not admit that they like him at all, but will vote for him. Which is why from now until Election Day, Trump will continue to take his show on the road. That's not to say there aren't plenty of critics of the president outside of D.C. or supporters inside of the city. But who has the loudest and last voice? Well, that'll be determined at the ballot box. In Washington, I'm Scott Thuman.